when people sell their home, they often ask me, well, hey, should I, I mean, should I move out or should I stay in my home while my home is listed? Well, a lot of this really depends on your personal situation and, you know, to include like your finances. Not everybody can really afford to move out of their house, you know, until they sell the current house that they're in. Um, but I will go over some of the advantages and disadvantages of either way. Um, some of the advantages of moving out of your house, if you're able to do this, is the showings are a lot easier to, you know, to set up and to have. A lot of people will wait to the last minute and go, oh, I really want to see this house. Can I see it in an hour or can I see it in two or three hours? And so if you don't live there, then, you know, it's a lot easier just for the your listing agent to say, yes, just go ahead and see it because, of course, you've moved out. Also, if you plan to stage your house, it's a lot easier to do the staging if you've moved out to coordinate all of that. Um, also, you don't have to worry about, you know, just wondering, you know, trying to make your house just clean and perfect all the time. You know, that can be somewhat stressful, especially those last minute requests. Um, also, you know, if you have repairs that are going to have to be made um, off of the home inspection report or request by other requests by the buyers that need to be attended to, with you being out of the house, it's a lot easier to coordinate those that repair work. Um, some of the cons of moving out is, you know, like I said, the extra cost. You have to, you know, pay for the house that you, you know, are selling, you know, you know like a mortgage payment, the utilities, all of that, unless you've, um, you know, already paid your property off. Um, if you've already paid the property off, you wouldn't have the mortgage payment, but most, you know, a lot of people have not. So you would have that. And, you know, if you plan to go to a hotel, I've even heard people go and live in their RV um, during that time, you know, so you would be floating to different places if, you know, they're not paid off. Um, it's a less urgency for buyers. A lot of times, you know, people think that, oh, well, they've already moved out, so they must be desperate to sell their house. And so they may make more contingencies and things like that. They may try to come in at a lower price or ask that you pay more things. I mean, that's how some buyers, you know, perceive that. A lot of times, too, if you move out, the emotional attachment is not quite as great for some people. People. You know, it just depends on your individual situation. So you really do need to weigh the pros and cons of moving out of your house versus living in it. And I'm going to have more information on this topic on my website, which is auburnopalikaalrealestate.com if you like to learn, you know, more about it. And make sure you follow me for all things real estate. And I'm Laura Sellers, and I work at Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Preferred Real Estate in Auburn and Opelika, Alabama. And if you're in the market, to buy or sell a property, I would be I would absolutely love to assist you. Um, I've lived and worked in the area for over 35 years. I graduated from Auburn University. Um, my primary bank, um, background is banking and real estate, but I also worked at Auburn University in the um, dean's office of the College of Liberal Arts, and um, even the assistant to the vice president for student affairs for a little while. So um, you know, I know this area, and I would love to help you if you're in the market to buy or sell a property.